Okay, the shoot is done. The client's waiting. We have 20 of the raw files here. I'm going to right click on the folder of raws, come over to Instant JPEG from Raw, select Native Files Only. There it is. It's already selected. Extract. And in almost no time, we have a folder of 20 extracted JPEGs. I copy that off to the flash drive, and we're done. Ron's accomplished what he wanted to do. Oh, wait, he needed those uh, files for email as well. Okay, let's do this. We'll go back and for his web gallery, okay, and select native size and smaller size. So we'll do it 800 size. And now we'll click this. Take a little longer time. This is for 20 files. You can just multiply it out in case uh, there were hundreds of files. I'm just keeping it short for the video. And lo and behold, now we have two folders, one that's marked extracted JPEGs with full-size JPEGs and the other with 800 by 800 JPEGs. And look at that, it's even labeled with the number 800. Okay, so now let's go back and see how we did this magic with Instant JPEG from RAW. For those of you who haven't read the blog, my name is Michael Tapes, and we set up a scenario where Ron Purdy, the great fashion photographer, has done a shoot, and he needs to not only do the shoot, of course, in RAW, because of the high quality needed for his work, uh, but also has to deliver full-size JPEGs and smaller-size JPEGs immediately after the shoot. The client is impatient. We happen to be on a MacBook Air, just pointing out that it's a slow computer so that what you're seeing here happening so quickly while I'm capturing a movie is not because of raw speed of the computing device I'm on. But first, let's take a look and uh, see what, what, what are some options. How could we view raw files uh, in Leopard? Well, we can select all these raws from a 5D and now double click and we'll end up in preview. So we've opened up the raw files in preview, and let's view them. First of all, let's just view them one after another. So I'm going to click on the next. Here I am. I click, click. So if I click in rapid succession, the computer lags behind me, and I want to go back, and I kind of have to wait for it to catch up. So we buffer the click. So it, it's a pain to navigate because it's working so slowly with the RAWs. And what happens if I want to zoom in? Let's go to actual size and you'll see that the file is pixelated. I have to wait until the file is rendered and then I have a full size preview. Okay, Works great, but takes too long and we still don't have the JPEGs we want. So let's take a look at this same thing using Instant JPEG from RAW. So we're going to right click and we get Instant JPEG from RAW under the More menu in, Le in Leopard. It's on the first level menu in Windows and in Jaguar. We select Instant JPEG from RAW and we have this dialog box. Native files only, native and smaller sizes. Native files only means it pulls out the large embedded JPEG from the RAW. Native and smaller sizes mean that the Instant JPEG from RAW utility not only pulls out the JPEG but also resizes one into a smaller size. Adding suffix adds an Instant JPEG from RAW, IJFR, to the file name so that you know uh, that it's a JPEG extracted from the RAW. So if we do the native file only and we say extract, save would just save your preferences the way it is and cancel would exit without saving. We hit extract and a mere zero seconds later, it's so fast that the, uh, the timing isn't even counted, uh, we end up with a folder of extracted JPEGs. So let's click on this. Here we see the 20 JPEGs that were created. And let's do the same thing we did with the RAWs. Let's do a control A and double click and open them up in preview. Here we are in preview. And let me do the same thing I did before, cycle them with the next button, and you can see how much faster these cycle through basically instantly. There's no uh, delay at all, so I can view these pictures much faster and easier than I did the RAW because they're JPEGs. They're already developed, and when I go to enlarge them, we'll notice two things. One, that it goes to full size basically instantly. There it is. And secondly, look at this quality. This is incredible quality. So you're getting a high quality, large JPEG, essentially for free. It's already in the RAW, and with the Instant RAW from JPEG Utility, it comes out instantly. Let's zoom in on this again, on this one. Okay, and just take a look at the detail in the hat for as well as you can see it on the video in any event.
So you can see that this is a great tool and we have a folder of JPEGs all ready for us. Uh, let's go back now and say we need smaller size like I set up in the scenario. So we'll double click, rather right click on the folder, go to Instant JPEG from RAW, and this size, select native and smaller sizes, and uh, well, we'll leave it at 800, doesn't matter, add the suffix, do the extraction. Uh, once the JPEGs are extracted, it doesn't have to extract them again, it just resizes them, but the extraction is so fast it actually doesn't matter. So here we are seven seconds later for seven files, so three files per second, and now I have an additional folder of the 800 pixel JPEGs. Let's uh, open them in preview just for jollies. Double click and here we are in preview. Of course the navigation is going to be very fast as we said and when we zoom in to full size of course these are 800 pixel wide so they're smaller and they zoom in quickly but of course they're smaller. So what we now have are two sets of JPEG. If we need a third set different size, maybe for the web gallery we want to do thousand by a thousand, I can right click again and do it one more time. Instant JPEG from RAW and set this to a thousand wide by maybe we want it a thousand wide by 800 high and go again and now we'll have three folders, the original extracted JPEGs plus two additional sizes, the 800 and the 1000. And here it is, here they are, and you'll see the file name is now 1000. Instant JPEG from RAW is the suffix, which is optional, and the 1000 resize. So you know exactly what you have. Here's the 800 resize, and here's the full size Instant JPEG from RAW. I think it's really exciting and something that uh, many of you can use in your workflow. I know I find uh, that I end up using it virtually every time I shoot. I, I make the JPEGs and I view and use them for various purposes such as posting on the web, sending them in emails, etc. If you shoot JPEG alone, the JPEGs are too big. You have to resize them anyway. So hopefully it's very useful to you and thanks for watching.